Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. We've all heard the expression that one man's trash is another man's treasure. And in this video here, we're going to show you something that you might have been throwing away that could actually uh, save you a lot of time and a lot of effort when diagnosing issues with your mower's charging station. And what you might have been throwing away is your damaged low voltage cable. Uh, we have two of them here, both, both styles. Uh, this is the one for the 7 amp transformer. See the two wires are further apart here where it plugs into the transformer. And then this is the one for basically all the transformers less than 7 amp, which is all the other models of mowers that aren't a 450 or a 550 or an all-wheel drive. Uh, but what we did was we cut out the, the center of the, the uh, low voltage cable. So we just had a few inches coming out from either plug. Did that on both of them, and then we put in some female spade terminals there. And you might be saying, well, okay, what's the point in this? Well, what this does is it makes it easier to test for uh, voltage while the system is in use. So to give you an example, got a 7 amp transformer right here plugged into our, our low voltage cable. So we'll unplug our low voltage cable, and we can test our transformer now without anything extra you know we don't need any any paper clips or anything like that we can just stick the probes from our our uh, multimeter right in here and we can test to see what voltage we got coming out of our transformer now the issue with only having this style is you can't then connect this directly into your low voltage cable but if you had the uh low voltage cable for the non 7 amp transformer this style right here then you can plug that in up here at the charging station and now you can measure to see how much voltage you have coming through your transformer and your your low voltage cable by st simply sticking your probes in there and what's nice about this is you can do this while the mower is coming into charge so you can have the mower sitting in there charging and if you have an issue where your mower comes into charge and the LED goes out on your charging station, you might be thinking, well, do I need a transformer? Do I have a problem with the circuit board? What is it? Well, you do this and you can tell, okay, I've still got power coming the whole way through here. It's going to be my, it's going to be my charging station board. Or well, wait a minute, my power just dropped off once my transformer was under a load. Let me go back through here and test my transformer and see if that's what's going on and figure this out before I spend a whole lot of money replacing a, a circuit board I didn't need to replace or a transformer I didn't need to replace. This makes it really simple. Now, if you have one of the other style transformers uh, for a less than 7 amp uh, transformer, um, let me grab one of those actually and I'll, I'll hook it up here and I'll show you. This here, you can, be, you can use this actually at either end on one of those and I'll just show you here to clarify what I'm talking about. Okay, so for our 1.3 amp transformers and our 4.2 amp transformers, which would be basically all your mowers except for your 450s, 550s, and all-wheel drives, they would use um, one of those two transformers. Um, so with this style here, if you take the low voltage cable and you cut everything out of the center of it like we did here, and you have the female spade terminals in there, you can use this at either end. So you can put this in here, and you can say, all right, I'm gonna check to make sure my transformer's working and everything coming out is good there. So you do that, you got everything in line while it's powered on, you can just test your voltage right there at the female spade terminals. And you say, okay, well, everything's good there, but somehow I'm losing voltage because the LED's going out. Well, then you can move this one up the line see what's happening up here so you can plug it in here because the wires are the same configuration at both ends for this style and then again you can check right up here and say oh yep I've got the 28 volts coming right through there going into the charging station so it must be something with my circuit board or oh uh, wait a minute I'm losing my 28 volts so is it something with my low voltage cable or the the charging station circuit board that's causing the uh, the power to go out but uh, either way you know you're gonna be able to narrow it down a lot easier uh, the other thing that's nice for this is you can um, use this then to make it easier to test the continuity from one end to the other of your low voltage cable because you know 
on this end here, this is where you'd have to use like paper clips or something because you can't easily get your probes and your multimeter in there. So you plug this in and then you can easily go from one end to the other because there's actually the, the metal pins in the other end and you can easily check your, your continuity then and see that you're actually on it and testing everything accurately. So um, hopefully that wasn't too confusing there, but this is something that can come in very handy out there in the field for all you other dealers and for anybody at home, you know, you have you have a low voltage cable that goes bad, uh, just the center of it was cut up by the weed eater or whatever, you know, instead of throwing the whole thing away, make yourself something up like this and just keep it there nearby or in your toolbox or whatever. And next time you have a problem with your charging station or you think you might have a problem with your transformer, it's gonna come in pretty handy for testing stuff out. Um, so yeah, that's it there. Just wanna take the time to show that to you guys because I know a lot of people kind of question well is it a transformer is it a charging station circuit board issue is it my low voltage cable I don't know uh, I don't want to go replacing everything and this helps you narrow it down a little bit and it's real simple and it's something that again if you're gonna throw that away why not make some use out of it so that's gonna do it for this video here as always if you're looking to replace any of those parts after you figure it out whether you need a new low, low voltage cable a new transformer, a new charging station circuit board, or any other parts for your automowers, you know the place to go, www.roboticmowerservices.com. Check everything out on the website there. You can also find uh, links for all kinds of technical support and stuff like that. You can contact us through the website if you have a problem with something or can't find something. You can also send us an email to roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. That is, like I said, going to do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to this channel.